We're at Lutheran High School where tonight the Crusaders take on their crosstown rival, Sheboygan Christian. Hello everybody, alongside the coach, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Lutheran is having one heck of a year, Chris. They come in 13 and two. I was shocked to see their 10 and 0 in conference. They're running away with that too. Yeah, they're picked a winner this year. They're basically all seniors. I mean, this was the year that, you know, you had counted on probably since they were like in seventh grade and they're having a magical year. And Standing in the way is a couple more victories and then a conference championship. But of course, one of them that's in their way the next two weeks is Sheboygan Christian. Now, Christian has a six and eight record, uh, you know, they're, but they're coming on. They've, they've been playing much better. I had a chance to talk to uh, Ken Lipum and uh, he said, you know, they almost beat NEW Lutheran and uh, they're just playing the better and the uh, Lutheran's gonna have to uh, be on their game tonight. Well, that is right. Green Bay knew it, number one ranked in division uh, five. They already beat Lutheran up there in a game that was what, 98 to 91 or something like that. And then the other day they came down to play Christian. So Christian's playing better teams and playing better. They're a little bit younger, but they got some guys that you know, been around for a couple years, even though they're a little bit younger. But I mean, this Christian team last year, we thought Lutheran would beat them and then in their place, they beat them, but here at Lutheran, they want to hold serve. Now, coming into tonight's game, Tyler Zaster averaging 18-6 a game and uh, Jacob Juris 17-2. But what makes those guys really tough, I think, is uh, the ability to shoot the three-pointer. Yeah, well, they get open in the wings and they can shoot. And uh, we've seen Zastro hit shots for years and Jacob Jers. Jacob Jers, one of the only ones that is a junior, but, you know, he's played since he was a freshman on the basketball team. Won a state championship with that team as well. And, I mean, these guys are, are very battle-tested, but, you know, we're probably going to see a lot of scoring tonight. There's no doubt about it. So looking forward to a fun game. Another guy we want to give a little shout-out to is Jeff Hess. We've seen him play over the last couple of years. And, uh, now he's a senior, like you mentioned, senior laden. He's averaging 10.2, so a lot of balance on uh, the Lutheran team. Yeah, he's, he's finally got over double digits, but I, one of my favorite Lutheran players is Ryan Sheely. He's one of the quiet kids on the team that just does all the muscle work. He's a big kind of brute kind of guy. He's the one that's going to get a lot of rebounds. You know, we've seen him over the last couple of years, you know, do get some big scoring things, only averaging about six points a game, but but he's just a beast in the middle and hustles a lot and does a lot of the little things. I mean, there, there's just very talented group of uh, Lutheran, and we're very lucky to have him here in Sheboygan. Lutheran comes in senior laden. Christian, on the other hand, is uh, quite young, and we're used to seeing a lot of tall kids over there, and they're not that tall this year. The one uh, big kid is... Uh, Jacob, no, Minert, I believe his name is, and uh, he's 6'4", sophomore, and, uh, but other than that, uh, they're, they're uh, you know, not that tall, they're kind of short, and uh, they're going to have to control the inside against Lutheran. Yeah, they will. There's, you know, neither team got really big, big kids and things like that, but we've seen Caleb Kelly have some big games, and Josh Stecker last year had a, a wonderful game, too, and, uh, you know, this team, like I said, is much better. That right now, as you mentioned, Lutheran is 10 and 0, and Cedar Grove and Oostburg is 7 and 4, and they're like just 5 and 4, so they have a whole bunch of games left. But you know, they're playing much better this year, and I'm really excited to see what the Eagles have to show. Actually, I got to do a little uh, correction here. It's Eddie Windsor yeah. is the 6'5 sophomore. He's averaging 10 a game, so so they're going a little bit young. You know, he's going to have to step up tonight. Yeah, he's doing that, and off a sophomore team, I just watched the JVs for Christian. I mean, they got. They got not too many seniors, and they had a very nice JV team. They're, this is some team that we should be looking for, not even tonight, but down the road as well. Little shout out to uh, Brett Flipsy, 17th year as a head coach. He's uh, the dean of coaches in the uh, Central Lakeshore. He uh, does a heck of a job each year. Yeah, he's one up on uh, Kevin Brunick and things like that, and just sticks with these guys and gets real intense and things. He's had some conference championships himself, so he has nothing to bash for. And he's starting to build that program right back up. So we'll see if they can pull the upset tonight. All right, and with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the uh, starting uh, lineups and the tip-off for tonight's basketball game. I believe in nature. I believe in the spirit. I believe in trust. Beauty. I believe in my mom. Strawberry ice cream. Fortune cookies. Chocolate. I believe in the tooth fairy. Being honest with yourself. I believe in Santa Claus. Aliens, of course. I believe what I want to believe. I believe in myself. I believe in myself.
you will leave in peace. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Nicole Malakowski, a U.S. Air Force Fighter Squadron Commander and the first woman pilot with the United States Air Force Aerial Demonstration Team. My fellow airmen and I know that each of us plays a huge part in our victories, whether in the air or on the ground. We couldn't accomplish our mission without using everyone's skills to reach our goals. Embracing our differences and working together is also what has made America strong. Thank you for your support, and remember, our strength lies in our diversity. This message brought to you by the United States Air Force. Okay, Josh, do your stuff. Okay, people, you know the drill. Can't do it only, guys. Generosity, pass it on. A little from up above, fit to me. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Take 10 seconds to imagine the face of your best friend, your coworker, your classmate, your hero, the face of a veteran, a senior on a fixed income. Now, I want you to imagine them without a home. More than 2 million people in America rely on public housing to provide a home for their families. And there are at least a half a million waiting for a safe place to live. I'm Jewel, and I'd like you to join me and rethink how public housing is supporting your community. The environment is my passion. Every day, I live for the outdoors and all of its challenges. That's why I enlisted in the Coast Guard. Now, I serve to protect the environment and defend my country. It's like I was born for this. Were you born ready for a greater challenge? Find out at GoCoastGuard.com. Hoy en día, muchos hombres tienen una enfermedad, pero la mayoría no sabe cómo se llama. Es una enfermedad tratable que atormenta tanto a los hombres como a sus familias, pero muchos hombres nunca obtienen tratamiento. ¿Cómo se llama? Depresión. Si usted o un familiar tiene síntomas de la depresión, no se avergüence de hablar de ello. Llame al número que aparece abajo y vaya al médico. La vida que salve puede ser la suya. have a job to do out here today. To be a winning team, you have to work like a winning team. My team depends on me. And my team is 50,000 strong. Looks like a lot of work is going into this. This is what it feels like to be part of a team. A winning team. The action team. The action team. Get in on the action at actionteam.org. Are you in? Back at uh, Lutheran High School, Chris and I mentioned some of the leading scorers. Kyle Stecker, a junior, is averaging 7.6. Graham Bervelde, another junior, is averaging 6.6 .6 per game. That goes along with Caleb Kelly, the leading scorer at 13.2. Josh Stecker, 11.6. And Eddie Windsor, 6.5 sophomore, averaging exactly 10 a game. Uh, for the uh, Crusaders, we mentioned Zastro and Juris and Hess. Uh, Jacob Ames. Averaging 7-3. Uh, Chris's favorite player, Ryan Sheely, averaging 6-3. And Phil Leipom uh, averaging 5.9 five point points a game. And uh, another Leipom going through the program, Chris. Yeah, and I noticed there's some yet down below here, too, and a freshman as well. So I don't think that'll ever end, Marty. Well, 
Jim, you know, has got about three or four kids in tow, none of them over, I think, seven. So <laughs> there's going to be some more light pumps coming through in a few years. Our officials tonight are going to be uh, Chuck Bladorn and Dave Thiel. And uh, we had those guys earlier this year. I think it was over at North, Chris. They do a nice job. From Fond du Lac. Right. We won't hold that against them, though. <laughs> this night. Yeah. Lutheran comes in 13-2. and two. They're 10-0 and 0 in conference. They are coming off a win at Howard's Grove, a 58-53 win. Christian is 6-8, and 5-4 and in conference. They're also coming off a win at uh, against Cedar Grove, Belgium, by 10, 58-48. Uh, we had mentioned that uh, they are playing better. And uh, I, I got one of my keys for uh, victory tonight for Lutheran is they got to stay focused. You can't look past this game. Well, it's a rivalry game, and anything happens. We're going to have a uh, couple weeks. We're going to have back-to-backers. We're going to have this replay basically at Christian and then the North-South game. But anything can happen in a rivalry game. But playing at home is always the advantage. And when we talk about when we go back to Christian a couple weeks, we'll probably flip the thing and say the same thing. It's... Probably a little advantage for Christian that night. The first Holy War by the shore. The next one coming up uh, in about a week or so. Get ready for the national anthem. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Lutheran High School Basketball. Tonight in Central Lakeshore Conference action, your Lutheran High Crusaders take on the visiting at this time, we ask that you would please rise and join us in a word of prayer. And even before our prayer, Lutheran High School this evening recognizes the passing of Robert Velboom, who passed away on Wednesday. His funeral was earlier today. Robert has three grandsons playing for Christian High this evening. Jacob Stecker, who will play in the JV game, and Josh and Kyle Stecker, who will be playing in the varsity game. Lutheran High School joins the Christian High School family in wishing the Bell Bloom and Stecker families the Lord's comfort and blessings. We remember them in our prayers. We pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, into the world. We know that he went to the cross and died there for us. He poured out his blood for the forgiveness of our sins. And that is our hope of our salvation. And that is our comfort in times of sorrow. We pray that you bless these families with that comfort and strength that you alone can provide. We also ask that you watch over our players this evening from both sides, the coaches, the officials, we pray that all perform their duties to the best of their ability. Help us all to display good sportsmanship and always to treat each other with courtesy and respect. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. We ask that you remain standing and now join in the singing of our national anthem. <laughs> That was awesome. Lutheran High School also this evening welcomes Crusader fans from Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Sheboygan and St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Sheboygan. Woo! Lutheran High School thanks you 
for your support. And now, the starting line up for tonight's game. First of all, for the Chevalier County, Christian Abel. A senior number 10, South Stecker. A senior number 11, Brady Yachty. A junior number 20, Kyle Stecker. A junior number 23, Caleb Kelly. And a sophomore number 32, Eddie Lindsay. The Eagles are hosted by Mr. Brett Clipsey. Assisted by Will Fletcher and Michael Hoffman. just in his second year. And uh, as I mentioned in the opening, Lutheran comes in ranked number four in the state. They've uh, only two losses to number one, Green Bay New, and to number three, Burlington Catholic Central. The other team in there is Cassville. They're ranked number two. I haven't heard Cassville's name since Sam Oakey played there. Yeah, really. Chuck Bladorn is uh, gonna toss it up. You can see the back of the head of Dave Field. With his hand in the air. Hessen Windsor jumping center and Christian controls. Brady Adi, number 11, still running a point. He's been running that since a freshman, now a senior for Christian, number 11. A lot of steckers on the floor for, uh, the, crew, for the Eagles also. Jump shot by Kelly is no good. High riser on that jump shot, Chris. Zastro with a nice feed inside to uh, Sheely for two. Windsor has it on top. Getting a little relief from uh, Adi. Windsor from just inside the line, nails one. That's the sophomore. Lutheran flying down the floor. Lifeum gives it off to Hess, who lays it up and in. Too easy there, Chris. Press by Lutheran. Very deep, very fast. Good pass by uh, Josh Stecker. Over to uh, Kyle Stecker, but Kyle not able to hang on to it, lost it. Tyler Zastro has it being guarded by uh, Caleb Kelly. There you see the Backdoor travel. cut. Shot is blocked. That was Hess on the attempt. Good defense by the Eagles. I thought the call was o Omaha, Omaha. <laughs> Hear that tomorrow. Kick out pass, jump shot by Josh Decker is woefully short. 
Lead feed to Hess, and he gets bumped. No call. Ball out of bounds. Going to be brought in by number 11, Brady Yachty, for uh, the Christian Eagles. Lutheran on top. It's early. We're down to the six-minute mark of the first quarter. Obviously, you can tell that how Christian handles the pressure going to be a difference in the game so far tonight. Boy, so Kyle, far, the press hasn't done that much. Well, Kyle Stecker turned it over for the second time already. Looking for the back door cut and threw it. Wolf real behind his uh, cutting teammate. Not even close. Juris open from three-point land. Good. That was a nice play, Chris. They ran that one to perfection. Yep. One of the best shooters in the city. There's no doubt about that. Jacob Jers. Stecker, Kyle Stecker has it on the wing. Going hard baseline. Reverse layup is no good. Rebound by Sheely. Layup is up and in. That one by uh, Phil Leipum. Pretty good start, I guess, for Lutheran, Marty. Very good, yep, 9-2. And a steal, three on two. Good feed inside, a push from behind. Leipum goes down hard. You know, Marty, you talked about Lutheran coming out a little flat. You know who looks a little scared tonight? Christian so far. They're not handling the uh, first couple minutes to play through. Reminds me of what uh, Aubrey said in that Deso show, the first two minutes of a North-South game were some of the ugliest basketball <laughs> you saw because everybody's nervous, and uh, that's what we're seeing out of uh, Christian. You're right. The light bomb uh, looking for uh, point number four for him and number 11 for uh, the Crusaders. He couldn't get it to roll in. Phil just averaging... Just under six points a game. Probably a little lower than I thought probably for this year for him, but he can do other things too. Another attempt at a backdoor cut, but again, the pass goes out of bounds. Four turnovers for uh, the Crusaders. Now you talk about uh, Phil not scoring quite as much. You know, that's partly a product of uh, having a couple guys on your team that are averaging 17 and 18 <laughs> points. Yep. I remember starting for North, and we had a kid on the team, Bill Pragles. He scored over 300 points his senior year. He was average about 18 points a game. I didn't average enough either. <laughs> I thought I was doing pretty good at seven a game. <laughs> Windsor's feet inside is almost thrown away. Good recovery by Kyle Stecker. There's a good trap. And a and good Brady Adi on a cut down the lane, caught it, and laid it in. Good call, Chris. Oh, that gets uh, Christian a little excited on that play. Set of standing around, cut to the basket, and that's what Adi did. Sastro catch and shoot, no good. Light pumps shot is no good. Sastro had another attempt, no good, and then it goes out of bounds, tipped out by Christian. It takes a lot of effort when you have the offensive rebound, put it up, and then it gets uh, missed, and you try and get it again. Eddie Windsor is going to pick up that foul. Boy, they're giving it to Stecker. That's his second, Marty. Oh, we. That's not good. 11 6 a game for Stecker. It's been all Phil Leipom oh. recently. He's got the last uh, four points for the Crusaders. There, you get a good shot. And he Excuse pops me. in the second one. Seven, six for him. I get the Steckers backwards there, Marty. Sorry. Good hustle by Leipom. Oh, nice, nice move. play. Caleb Kelly. Just a junior. You get a foul inside. That one's going to go on Windsor. Well, Lutheran just keeps attacking, Marty. They certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I had it wrong again. Lutheran comes in averaging 63 points a game, giving up 49. The way they're off and running today, they're like that Green Bay new game where they scored 91 and lost. That's and that so wasn't overtime either. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Gonna be a foul there. Christian decides to attack a little bit, Marty. A little, lot of up and down. They like doing that. If you had a chance to watch a JV game, they'd do yep. the same thing. Benadringa comes in the game. Seen his first action coming off is uh, Kyle Stecker. Kyle with the two fouls, Marty. Missed up here. Lutheran still with their same starting five, Marty. Yeah, they're going along with them. Juris open from outside the line. Had a good look, but couldn't get it to go. He's uh, very quick on the shot, Chris. Quick release, catch and shoot, catch and shoot. Very different than south and north where they kind of rotate guys all the time. Right. Lutheran ranked fourth in the state. Going with their starters for the first five and a half minutes. Brady Adi looking to go. Juris on the good defense, moved his feet well. 14 to six, Lutheran on top. Christian trying to uh, gather themselves and uh, back in the game here. Another bad pass, that one being made by Josh Stecker. Light pump, up and in, oh! Flying high to the hoop, Chris. Too many 16. early turnovers for Christian, Marty. Yeah, they're gonna have to cut that out. And bring up, bringing it up against the much smaller Zastro. Not sure he wants the ball. It seems like he's always looking for somebody there, Marty, to get rid of it. I think that was a good idea by him. <laughs> <laughs> Adi on a kick out pass. Windsor's shot is no good. Phil Leipom having a nice night so far, Chris. Yep. Hess at the side of the backboard. Wow. Quick release from way downtown. Caleb Kelly from the parking lot. Wow. 16 to 9. Juris a kick out. Chile. Not exactly his shot. Well, and then uh, Light Palm's going to pick up the foul. Couple of substitutions for uh, the Crusaders. Coming in is uh, Ames and uh, Hasenstein. Coming in for uh, the crew, for the Eagles is uh, James Rasmussen. Under two minutes. See how Rasmussen. Runs the point here. Jump shot in the lane is good by Stecker, Josh Stecker. 16 to 11, Christian fighting back. Inside feed. Nice pass to uh, Sheely, but he couldn't finish. Rasmussen has it right now. He's running point like Chris mentioned before. Almost lost, and there is a whistle called, or whistle blown. There's going to be a foul called. Ames picks up his first foul. Each team sitting with three team fouls, Chris. And it's up and down, Marty. Up and down is right. 110 left in the quarter, 16 to 11. Christian was down 16 to 10. Uh, pardon me, 16 to 6. They were down 10. Sheely with a strong rebound. Good cross court pass. Whoops. Zastro. 
Not in good position to shoot that time. Shot from outside the line is good by Nathan Hosenstein. Nineteen to eleven. Forty-five seconds left. Why did the clock stop? Uh, there was a whistle blown. I think the net got stuck. All right. I'm just guessing. Caleb Kelly going hard to the basket. There's a whistle out on the floor. Ball is going to go on Hosenstein. Caleb Kelly really has the ups, Chris. Boy, he can jump. He's a quick jumper, too. He's got the magic socks on. Eddie Windsor for two. I tell you, for a sophomore, he's not afraid to take shots and lead. Nice touch. Castro's shot is no good. Coming away with it is Kelly. Windsor has it inside. His shot is uh, contested and it's no good. And it goes off the hands of uh, Ben and Dringa. And uh, Lutheran will have it. 12 seconds, Marty. 12.1, Chris. <laughs> Under 10. Otter taking her good natured time. What was that all about, Chris? I have it was, no idea. It was doomed from the view. As soon as he handed it off to Ames, I mean, what was the point? Yep. Well, we're at the end of one quarter play. It's 19 to 13, Lutheran on top. You always made sure I brushed my teeth. You told me that smart was cool. You always told me to dream big. To all of those parents who took the time to make raising their children their most important job, we'd like to say... Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thanks, Mom and Dad. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Your time is going to come. Time is gonna come. It's up to you to reach out to be that friend who comes along. Your day is gonna come. When you make a friend, you make a difference. Your day is gonna come. Friendship, pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Got a new crew member tonight, Chris. Manuel Vasquez, a senior over at uh, South High, is uh, on the up camera. Eric Wiesman giving you that shot. He's on the uh, down camera. Scott Mailoff is our director. Got a new 18 tonight. Taking it hard to the hoop and dishing it off to Windsor for a basket. Was Josh Decker. Shot by Hosenstein is no good and tapped out of bounds. Who got that last basket? Uh, 32, Eddie Windsor. Windsor on the little lay-in. Windsor with four points tonight. Uh, Christian's uh, survived that early. Yeah. Early bad start, a lot yep. of turnovers. See if they can clean that up. Kelly into the lane, had a shot block, but he's going to be fouled. Either going to be on Hosenstein or Schiele, giving it to Schiele. <laughs> Kelly at the line shooting a pair. He uh, missed two back in the first quarter. Christian shooting 50% from the floor. You know, they're getting some really nice shots. Look at those two bozos in the middle. <laughs> Lutheran leads by three, but they're only shooting 35%. 
19 to 17. They've got more shot attempts because already Christian had those six turnovers. Hasenstein for three. Oh, Off the bench. Three of seven from three point range for uh, Lutheran. Verveldi had it for a minute, now Rasmussen. Graham Verveldi down the lane, lays it up off the glass and in. I'll tell you, that's a uh, little bit of Swiss cheese defense for Lutheran. Yeah, you're right there. A lot of holes. A lot of holes is right. Ozenstein open Feeling for it. just a second, he cans another three. He's three of three from out there. He only misses a two-pointer. It was too close. And attacking the basket was Graham Verveldi, and he gets fouled on the way. He'll be going to the line. It shocks me how that Christian is beating Lutheran down the floor. In a way, it doesn't. I mean, I just think they should be getting back better. Correct. They're a little lazy. Correct. Is that part of that focus part, in a way? You know what I mean? Pride. We want to get far in the uh, state tournament in a month. You're going to have to play a little bit of defense. One for two trip. Makes it 25 to 20. Zastro open from three point land. In rhythm, he nails a three. Missed his first three shots, but you're not going to keep him down. That's uh, four three-pointers in a row, Chris. Ozenstein's had three of them. Yep. Pick out pass to Kelly. Leaner in the lane is no good. Sheely gets fouled by Andringa. Sheely with five rebounds. Has not been on the bench yet the whole game, except for a timeout. <laughs> Are you going to see it? Boom, oops, I didn't mean to do that, but I'll help you up. And uh, Sheely says, no, thank you. Sastro bringing it up. We're at 5.50 left until halftime. It's 28 to 20. Lutheran has uh, found the range from three-point land to open up the lead. Sheely and Windsor battling on the inside. You got to like that. And what do we got here? Josh Stecker, I believe. Balls on Josh Stecker. You're right, Chris. Actually, okay. All right. Ozenstein open for a second. Good block that time by Verveldi. He hustled out, got out there on the D. Rasmussen right down Main Street for an easy two. That's travel. a travel. <laughs> There's another one of those. It's lack of pride. Let him take it right down the middle. Oh, bad turnover there, Chris. He actually had two kids open, and he didn't pass it to either one. Then when he tried to throw it cross court, he hit the back of the backboard. Castro looked like he was open. Now he's going to take it to the basket and rolls it in. Four of six, excuse me, four of seven of shooting in the quarter for Lutheran. Verveldi over to Windsor. They're running the weave right now. Josh Decker, jump shot from 12 is no good. Hasenstein had it for a second, lost it, but Lutheran gets it back. And then it goes, Juris trying to uh, pass it to a teammate, threw it off, Eddie Windsor goes out of bounds, Lutheran will keep it. Kyle Stecker and his two fouls are in, Marty. Yeah, and so is Brady. Well, Brady Otti doesn't have two fouls, but he's back in.
Adi and uh, Zastro paired up. That's a good matchup for those two young men. Juris trying to get himself open. Finds Hess in the middle for an easy basket. Hess to a four from the floor. Stecker's, uh, Josh Stecker's three-point attempt is no good. Lutheran has equaled their largest lead of the night at 10. Juris. Too close. Yeah, he likes those three-pointers. Sheely in the lane, got the rebound, put it up and in, and he's fouled. Sheely with seven rebounds already. Second offensive rebound, and that results in a basket and a chance for the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Rasmussen picks up the foul. Both teams now sitting with uh, six team fouls. Shilly brings it home. It's 35-22. A 13-point lead is the largest of the night. For Def the Crusaders. Definitely down your sheet tonight, Marty. Yeah. <laughs> A lot down that right side. Kick out pass, shot by Rasmussen is no good. Sheely with another rebound. Good cross court pass to Juris. His shot is up and in, and he's fouled. Committing the foul was Josh Stecker. Good no-look pass, look at this. He was looking off to the left, threw it to the right, and had Juris for the layup. Boy, threatening to break this one wide open, Chris. They're in a big run. They certainly are. Quick run, Marty. Didn't seem like it was out to 16 so fast, but uh, it was 22 to 19, and all of a sudden now it's 35 to 22. Wow. Kelly looking to take it down the lane. There he does. Puts it off the glass and in. He's a force in there. Good backdoor cut by Zastro, and he lays it up and in. Because he was left handed. He was right-handed, there was probably nowhere for him to go, but uh, the old left-hander, as Marty says, yeah, got that one to go. The old left-hander. He's three of six from the floor now, Zastro hit his last three. 2.45 left in the half. Kelly, off a screen, nails a jump shot. He's hit his last two. He's getting hot. Shot is no good, rebound by Windsor. He lost it, but uh, Brady Adi was right there to pick up the loose change. whoop -a. Good lead feed to Lightpump. Good fake, and he lays it in easily. Oh. Tell you, they're up by 16, but it doesn't seem like Christian's that far behind them. No, they made a nice comeback hey, late in the first quarter and uh, early in the second, but uh, recently it's been all Lutheran. Kelly couldn't get that one to go. Zastro pushing it up the court. Nice. Nice no-look pass again. Lightpom's layup is in. Five of five from the floor. Excuse me, four of five from the floor for Lightpom. He's exceeded his average tonight. Timeout Christian with 130 left. It's 44-26. 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. You know, we're dishing uh, Lutheran a little bit for their lack of uh, intensity you get back on defense, but uh, they certain certainly aren't lacking intensity on Dude, offense. That they like to play. They're shooting 66% in the uh, quarter, and uh, they get a lot of shot attempts, Marty. They have uh, attempted 30 shots already. My gosh, we watched 
North last week playing. Took them three quarters to get 30 shots. Hasenstein hit a, th hit a three at the end of the first quarter. Those were the last points for Lutheran. Then he hit another one to, for Lutheran's first points of the second quarter. Then he hit another one for their next three points. And then Zastro hit a three. And then we had two three-point plays besides that. So you're looking uh, out of the last flurry of scoring. One, two, three, four three-point baskets and two three-point plays. 44 points for Lutheran in the first half. Christian can run with them, but I don't know if they have the horses to stay with them. Strong rebound that time by uh, Taylor Zastro. Tyler Zastro can't get it. Good tip out. Tyler, Taylor, no! Loading it up from way outside the line. Couldn't get it to go. Caleb Kelly has it. Christian spreading the floor. They've got uh, Kyle Stecker inside. Now he moves out to the corner. Brady Yachty. I think something that Brady does very well. He drives oh. and kicks, and normally there's open shots, but yeah. that's going to be a turnover. Not many turnovers uh, since early in the first quarter by Christian, but uh, that was a bad one. Yeah, being down three by quarter, Marty. Yeah, being down by 18 and then throwing the ball away. <laughs> Trying to hold it for one shot, Marty. Yeah, 30 seconds. Very exciting quarter. Very, very exciting two quarters. Yeah, a lot of up and down action. And some uh, extremely good shooting. 15 seconds. Oh, almost a steal. Good hustle by the Eagles. Kick out pass to Hasenstein. Can't get it. Chile can't get it. And that's going to be halftime. Lutheran on top, 44-26. Training is about more than muscle. It's about inner strength. So I push myself. That's why I serve in the United States Coast Guard. I train with the best. A team that shares my drive and commitment. We collect intelligence, guard our shores against drug smugglers, and keep our waterways safe. Because our nation expects more. If you expect more, maybe you... I'm super excited to introduce my dad because he's my hero. When I was little, he was doing this really important work, driving ambulances in Iraq. Now he's home, and he's still a hero because he tells the ambulances where to go when there's an emergency. I'm so proud of him. He's awesome. He's my dad. If a service-connected disability hinders your civilian career, Volk Rehab offers a variety of services to help prepare you for your next mission. Best compliment I ever get is when someone says to me, you had breast cancer? They look at your chest, did you have operations? I said, yeah, I had bilateral mastectomy and reconstruction. That's the best compliment. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadAyUSA.org. Want to help? Make it easy on everyone. Send cash, the most effective form of disaster relief. CIDI.org. I tell people I have three kids. One of them's adopted. I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to 
be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation? Why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her, thank you. He is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine from him. So. We're Chanda and Brian, and we chose adoption. Back at uh, Lutheran High School, getting ready to uh, start the second half. Some uh, scoring from the first half. Brady Adi with two, Josh Stecker with four, uh, Rasmussen with uh, two. Caleb Kelly led all scorers for uh, Christian with 11. Graham Vervelde had three, and Eddie Windsor four. A lot of score, a lot of balance scoring for Lutheran Juris had six, Sheely had five, Hosenstein off the bench had nine, Hess had four, Phil Lipum had a really nice first half, had 11, and uh, Tyler Zastro not only scoring with nine, but also uh, running the point and making some nice passes. Chris, what do you got for us? I got, uh, how about even scoring percentages? 47% shooting for each side. Uh, the difference is basically the three pointers five three-pointers of 13, one of five for Christian, but 11 extra shots for uh, Lutheran. Couple things about that, Christian has had one, just one offensive rebound, and they've turned the ball over nine times, so that's why they don't have as many shot attempts, but both teams shooting 47%, Marty. What did they have, Chris, for uh, turnovers in the first quarter? Six. So they only had two in the second quarter? Three. Three in the second. Okay, yep. they had nine, okay, yep. that's right. So they did clean it up somewhat. Yeah, but it's a, it's a track meet out there, and, uh, you know, I don't know if Christian can stay with Lutheran at the, you know, the pace they're going to have to shoot much better. I know shooting 47% from the floor, you think you're doing all right. You look at the scoreboard, and you're down by 18, which, Well, the one thing wow. you said uh, is a telling stat, too, the 11 more shots makes a difference. Brady Adi has it. 11 more shots and five three-pointers made. Stecker, Stecker, Windsor, Kelly, and Adi on the floor for the Eagles. Windsor uh, almost threw it away. Can't get it to a much better player than just had it, uh, Caleb Kelly. Inside to Windsor, going right to the hoop and scores. Very impressed with that young man. Fifth, re uh, four rebounds for him. He's three of six from the floor, just a sophomore. Hess, jump stop, tried to kick it out to uh, Sheely, but couldn't. And then the save by Stecker goes right to uh, Hess, or Lightpump, pardon me, who got it to Hess. And uh, a whistle on the floor. I think it was a tie-up, but it's uh, going to uh, Lutheran since uh, Christian brought it in starting the second half. Oh, light pump. Wow. Too easy. Somebody lost track of their man there, Chris. Light pump slipped through. He now has 13 points. Five of six from the floor. Kelly goes hard and lays it up and goes in. <laughs> He's five of ten, Kelly. Good backdoor cut right down the lane is Sheely. He can't get the layup. Coming away with it was uh, Kyle Stecker. Good D by Jers. Yeah, very good D, you're right. And that was just an errant pass. Looked a little like, uh, who's that guy for the Bears? Bobby Douglas. <laughs> that too. <laughs> I was thinking Jack oh, Hunt Cannon. <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> <laughs> Wait till he gets one more foot away, and then I'll throw a hard pass. That's at okay. Him. <laughs> Gave Hessel a look there, like, what was that? Well, yeah. Zastro comes away with it. And uh, 30-second timeout. Coach Verhagen gets a 30-second timeout. By the way, speaking of basketball and, and crazy shots, last night in the North game, Davis Larson fell down in the lane. The ball came off the rim or was passed him while he was, while he was seated on his buttski, and he put it up and in. In the middle of the lane. And it wasn't City enough down. to help the Golden nope. Raiders get not, a not win. Not quite enough, no. Made a valiant effort in that fourth quarter. Hey, by the way, as we pan the stands, you can see we have a very nice crowd. Very nice crowd. Uh, they were they shoveled or, or plowed out one of the fields by the school, so they could have uh, overflow parking from the regular parking lot. Yeah, I was saying the last couple of years the crowds haven't been good for these games, but I'll tell you, tonight, Saturday night... 10 degrees outside, people can come out. Because 10 degrees feels warm compared to what we've had. Really? Isn't that the truth? Juris almost had it tipped away. Feed to Ames. Ames should have just taken that shot, Chris. I don't know what you think, but... Uh, Last two minutes, it seems like uh, Lutheran looking to make that extra pass what? instead yeah. of shooting it, which is not like them, the way they shoot the ball. Ames from outside the line, couldn't get it. Hustling after the ball. Eddie Windsor got up, got his hands on it, but couldn't save it. Juris will uh, toss it in, being guarded by Brady Adi. Good hands by Kelly, tipping it away from uh, Tyler Zastro. I don't know. I'm ready to pack it in here, Marty. These teams have also slowed down. It, uh, you're right. This uh, played just about a little over two minutes here in the quarter, and we're just not having that up and down action like we're uh, used to in the first there half. There we go. That's more like it. Juris on the steal, and he's fouled on the shot attempt. Lazy pass on the outlet to uh, Adi, and uh, Jacob Juris was uh, Johnny on the spot. Or should I say Jacob on the spot? There you see, saw the tail end of it. Heck of a year here at Lutheran. Cross country team for boys again, went to state. I believe they combined with Christian and that team went to state for soccer. Boys are ranked number five in state. What an athletic group here at Lutheran High School for such a small school. It has been a very nice year. And I think the kids even behave pretty good over here. Juris with uh, eight points now on those two free throws. It looked like a pretty good block, but uh, I think it's going to be uh, Sheely maybe picking up the foul. Sheely. Going to the line is uh, Graham Verveldi. Quite an accomplishment when you have teams going to state, and then you have other sports. You know, and you had mentioned it in your in your uh, comments that uh, it's a very athletic group. Oh. Juris nails a three. Boy, that was sweet. Twenty point lead now. Verveldi gets it inside to Windsor, kicks it out. To Caleb Kelly, no good. Ames. Hosenstein, no good. Juris. Ozzie had it tipped away, tried to put it in, and uh, Windsor with a block. And then he uh, almost throws it away, but Brady Adi with a nice save. Verveldi, no good. Sastro had it stolen away by Adi. 
Ooh, pushed out of bounds by Eames. Discussion right in front of us about who's making the call. But like the official said, it got made. Yes, and he said he was screened out. He admitted it. And Chuck Bladorn did the right thing and said what he saw. A little shoving under the basket, but no call. Lutheran comes away with the rebound. Juris had it taken away. Kelly lays it in. Uh-oh, Hasenstein in the small court over there ran right into the wall. There's not a lot of room on both sides, and he may have got an ankle caught up there. Castro couldn't get the uh, leaner to go. Kelly on a good pass out to uh, Josh Decker, who lays it up and in, and he's fouled. And Christian on a run. Well, it's just Hasenstein still grabbing at his ankles. I mean, that, the gym here is so small, it kind of reminds me of the armory. Good where point. Against yeah. the uh, stage there, and when Hazi went up, he just got his ankle caught between the mat and the wall. May not feel that a lot today, but maybe tomorrow morning. And once again, it seems like Christian's coming down the floor, and there's only one or no defenders for Lutheran. Right, back to that issue of not getting back on defense the way they need to. Kick out to uh, Tyler Zastro who nails a three. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Luther needed that. You know. You gotta keep heads up, you know, we're right here. Some of those passes, if they ever miss a player, that's gonna be right at us. Yep. Now Sheely's hurt. Sheely goes down hard. Ball's gonna go on uh, Rasmussen, watch this. So check his foot. Like, hard to tell. It looked like he might have tipped an ankle, though. <laughs> Shilly at the line, shooting a pair of free throws. He's a one for one. Well, one for two now on the night, trying to make a two out of three. They shoot free throws pretty well, Marty. They're doing pretty good tonight. Four for five, four for five for six there. Six for seven, seven for eight. Nine for 10. 10 for 12. Wisconsin should take notes on that. Hey, they shot free throws well in the first half. Windsor, nice move to the middle of the lane. He got his shot up and in. He made his last three basket, Windsor the sophomore. Taylor's Astro, bango baby. His first points of the night. Never knew his Astro that didn't like to score or shoot, Marty. I would say shoot, we all like to score. Even when we're not playing basketball. <laughs> Hey, I sat with the Fairweather fans last night at the North game. <laughs> the Horsens? <laughs> yeah. Graham Verbelli taking the inbounds pass. 58 to 40. Andringa. Shot by uh, Stecker is no good. Josh Stecker goes out of bounds. Two minutes and five seconds left in the third quarter. Christian made a little bit of a run. 
but uh, Lutheran has come back to uh, quelch that. Zastro being guarded a little too closely by uh, James Rasmussen. And oh, Razzie's gonna pick up his third. Yeah, he got bumped, he got bumped, he got bumped. Then he got pushed. <laughs> Zastro to Zastro. Ooh. Yeah, blocking on Dringa. Yeah. Tyler Zastro went down hard. Ben Andringa picking up his second foul. Windsor and Chile battling on the inside. Still battling. Taylor Zastro. Ho ho, man. He's got a nice stroke, Chris. That's the fourth three-pointer for Lutheran in the quarter. A new high for a lead, 21. And Dringo with a reverse layup got it up and in. And we get a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. Chris, these kids can play good basketball. Yep, another 50% shooting for Lutheran. Sometimes you wonder a little bit about the defense, but uh, offensively, they you know they get after it. Play hard. And other than that uh, stretch for a time in the first quarter with the turnovers by Christian, you know, getting the hang of it a little bit now. Christian again shooting almost 67% a quarter and they're still not making up any ground. Do you think part of the reason for the better start for the Lutheran team is because of the seniors? Good point, very good point. That And it's home, you're playing at home. Like I said, when we come back on February 13th and see the rematch, we'll see how it flips when it's at Christian. I, I mean, these teams just attack. That's what I like. And there's, it doesn't matter for either team. As I'm looking, everybody can shoot. Everybody's allowed to shoot. You know, we've been watching uh, North and South play this year, and one of the big concerns we've had is who's going to score. Yeah. For these <laughs> teams, the it's truth. like who's not going to, who's not capable of putting one up here. Everybody gets the opportunities to score. It's fun basketball. Hey, James Rasmussen is going to have to come off the floor, Chris. He's got four fouls, and we're still only in the uh, third quarter. I know he's frustrated, but he needs to just move his feet a little bit. I mean, he just seems to play body up a little bit too much. And uh, Yeah, I didn't think he moved his feet real good. Tyler Zastro is a four-year veteran and uh, knows how to draw some of that body contact. Well, they got a good guy to bring in, and uh, Brady Adi. And Dringa. Well, he saw Zastro hit him. He thought he should go, too. Start shooting. And getting called for the foul is Jacob Ames. And he pretty much cleared out. Watch this block out underneath by number two. And then you decide if it was a good call or not. Foul on number four. On number two, Ames. Uh, I, I think that was a great call. Very good call. <laughs> Ames has four falls too, Chris. Wow. I don't know how long he's gonna stay in there. Nobody at the table yet. He's coming in at seven points a game. He's attempted just one shot tonight, Ames. Ames and uh, Windsor getting to know each other. Three-point attempt by uh, Verveldi is good. Zastro had a shot blocked. Ames on the save. Taylor's Astro got it again. Oh, Ozenstein in the first half. Zastro Taylor in the second half. Wow. Caleb Kelly fouled on the floor. Brett Flipsy, what do you mean foul on the floor? He was shooting. But that's the call. Foul number 15 has his first personal. 
Jeff Hess committing the foul. Juris comes back in and they get uh, Ames out of there with his four fouls. Five three-pointers in the quarter for Lutheran. A good save by Adi. Christian getting stuck in the corner and they throw it out of bounds, but that's the end of the third quarter. Lutheran on top, 66-45. Simple moments are what make every day count. Hey, Eric Wiesman giving you that shot if you're getting sick. I think, he's, I think he's jumping around. <laughs> Doing the jump around. 66-45. I was just showing Chris score by quarters. Combined score by quarters. Combined score in the first quarter was 32. In the second quarter, they combined for 38 points. And in this third quarter, the teams combined for 41 points. So they've been progressively scoring more. Doesn't say much for the defense, but it's a lot of fun for the fans to watch. I think it's been very exciting, Marty. I remember some years back where we did a game, I believe it was this way to us here. Lutheran won by pretty much, they had. They probably had the better team that year. They went over to Christian, had to play the second war by the shore, and ended up losing. Uh, Christian really came out and played a fine ball game. So this does not mean a win over at Christian when we go over there and cover that game. Speaking of next games, Our next game is going to be uh, this Wednesday, February 5th, when Wisconsin Lutheran College goes over to uh, Lakeland to play. And then on Thursday, February 13th, the second Holy War by the Shore, Lutheran will be over at uh, Christian to play that game. The next game for these two teams, uh, Christian will be at Kohler on Tuesday and uh, Random Lake is uh, the opponent for uh, Lutheran. Shot by Taylor's Astros, no good. And then uh, Sheely's shot is knocked out of bounds by Eddie Windsor. Lutheran only made six baskets in that quarter, Marty, but five of them were threes. <laughs> they only made one two-point basket. That'll help. Who's that? Remember that guy this afternoon for Ohio State with the curly hair, Diwali? Yep. From That's who uh, Eddie reminds me of with the hair. Uh Hess with a basket and he's fouled. About 47% shooting for Lutheran. Christian at 51% and they're down by 23 points. Difference has been 10 three-pointers. And numerous three-point plays by Lutheran as well. Got that right. 69-45, it's been all Lutheran here in the second half. Eddie Windsor for two. He's four of four and a quarter, or and a half, excuse me. Sastro to Juris from way outside is no good. Caleb Kelly with the uh, rebound. Over to uh, Josh Stecker, no good. Windsor, good again. That's good. Got seven rebounds. He's around Wins. the ball, that's for sure. Timeout by uh, Lutheran, another 30 second timeout. 6.49 remaining in the ball game. Just two offensive rebounds though tonight for Christian. One of them was right there by Windsor. One thing, and you, and you kind of alluded to it, you know, about having anybody can score, you know, and they all shoot it. But uh, the other thing is they, they push the ball. 
You know, they're not not afraid to uh, run it up the floor. Doesn't always look pretty. You know, creates uh, causes sometimes at running to have more turnovers, but uh, fun to watch. Yep. Well, Light Palms five of six, Taylor's Astros three of five. Hosenstein, he's three of eight. Made some big baskets. Zastro, four of nine, the other one that is. Tyler. Good hustle there by Verveldi. You're gonna get a foul there on Josh Stecker. He's up to four, Marty. Had a request for uh, replay time, and I believe, I know it's tomorrow, Sunday, and I think it's at uh, 12.30. Uh, they wanna make that announcement here in the gym. I did. <laughs> Johnny Cash tonight. They keep banging in free throws. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six of seven. Nice leap and leaner there for two. Chance to add to that free throw total. Balls on uh, Kelly. That's his third. You're right, Chris, they really do shoot free throws well. I was wrong before, they are four for four so far in this quarter. And uh, I've only missed one free throw in the half. <laughs> 10 of 11. Good inside feed to Windsor. He scores easily. Six of six in the quarter. Bill Lightbaum with another basket. And he's, he's six having, of seven. They don't miss a lot tonight. No. Well, Neither team. They're getting to the rim a lot of the time. Oh, Windsor. Windsor had his man out there. Got to hit him. Jacob 12th turnover in the ball game of Christian. Certainly had six in the first quarter, like Marty said. Really have, really have cleaned that up. Light palm with 17 points, no. Hess has it on the wing. Oh, threw it right to uh, Kyle Stecker. And uh, Christian returns the favor. A little behind the back pass. Caleb Kelly blocked it. I don't know if sure if they're going to call basket interference. Watch this. A little behind the back action. And whoo. Kelly gets up there to the block. And Windsor helps on the crush, too. What a game for Lightpalm. Yeah, really, he's gonna, could easily end up with 20 points. I think he's got 19 now. 
if I counted right before. Nineteen. Oh. We got Kelly when he was on the floor, but uh, just goes to show he's a slasher, gets in there. Boy, the score looks 24 points, but I'll tell you that seems a lot closer. I mean, Christian just battling all the way. <laughs> I mean, it, it just doesn't seem like it's that big of a lead. When you're running up and down the court the way these teams are, uh, you know, it's, it's considerably easier than uh, you know, when you look at the way some teams in the Valley play. Very controlled, slow it down. Hard to come back when you're, you know, even down. Well, we mentioned like Ashwara, and they lead the that conference, and I mean they're barely scoring 60 points a game. Kick out pass to uh, Taylor Zastro goes out of bounds, and up by 22. I guess you can smile about it a little bit. Seventh turnover on. Lutheran. For the game? For the game. Woo. That's uh, Wisconsin-esque. Well, considering how high pace they are, it does pretty well. Nice drive and a basket by Kyle Stecker. But that's just his first basket, and he's averaging almost eight a game. Hess has it, gives it up to Juris. Like to probably run some clock here. A good defense that time by Graham Verbeldi. Took it right away from Taylor's Astro. Not afraid to shoot. Stecker, Kyle Stecker. Two more points for that young man. Deep into the corner. Taylor's Astro had Hess on the cut through, didn't hit him. Juris had it tipped away. Ames fighting for it, lays it off the glass and in, but there was a whistle prior to the shot. A little sloppy. Graham Verveldi picks up the foul. Jacob Ames going to the line. Ames looking for his first points tonight. Flat on that second attempt. Eighth rebound for Windsor. Kelly going hard to the hoop, and they're going to get Sheely with the foul. But Caleb Kelly will be going to the line again, Chris. Christian shooting 86% in the quarter, and they still trail by 19. <laughs> Lutheran, however, keeps making their free throws, so that's why uh, the lead doesn't get any shorter. Kelly, no, be well. This is going to be the eighth free throw by uh, Kelly. He's nailed five of them. Kelly working Jers all the way up. Sheely got it behind the line, didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> Made a good decision there. You're right. You tick, did. tick, 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 tick is much more important. Inside feed. Light bomb on a reverse layup off nope. a great pass. Jeff, Jeff Hess, Hess, pardon me. Hess, yep. But it was a great pass by Juris, regardless. Hess, third basket, excuse me, fourth basket tonight. Four of six on the floor for Jeff Hess. Graham Verveldi's shot is a little strong. Ames takes it away from Stecker and then he's fouled. Ames will be shooting free throws. Another timeout, Marty. Can't be. 
Full timeout, Scott. 2.38 left in the fourth quarter. Lutheran up by 20. What a day. We need to get outside. But, honey, I think there's a game on somewhere. Well, I know another game we can play. What? Golf? You and me? I'm ready to learn, and I found a great deal on lessons. Okay, game on. I think I can take it. Now you can learn to play golf, starting with one great deal. Five lessons from a PGA or LPGA instructor, starting at only $99. Get the details at GetGolfReady.com. Get ready to play. There's the score, Marty, and Christian's got five new guys in the game. No mud on their jerseys so far. Who's going to have more mud on their jersey tomorrow? I don't know. Manning or uh, Wilson? I don't know. Tough game to call, I'll say that. Let's see if we can get the names of these young men. Austin Black. Matt Sider. Daniel Parsons. Chad Coolis. Jacob Ames on the line for Lutheran shooting two. And Tyler Minert. Now we will lose from lineup number 21, Eric Hookser. And number 22, Justin Roth. Hooksich and Welsh in for uh, Luther. They're seeing their first action. Ames makes a couple of free throws this time. Has three on the night. Whoopa. Right through the hands of the intended receiver, Minert. <laughs> Hooksich has it, gives it off to uh, Taylor Zastro. Trying to set a screen was Justin Welsh, but then he popped back out. That's looking for an opening. Good defense being played by Austin Black that time on uh, Hess. Welsh had it again. Hess uh, being guarded closely by Black. Gets a little help, and now uh, Puxich has it, had it. Doing a little uh, Globetrotter weave, huh? I think so. They need Metal Arc Lemon at the top. There's no Metal Arc Lemon out here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're sitting behind the, this monitor right here. <laughs> that would be you. <laughs> Black playing a hard defense, picks up a foul, but that's okay. 131 left in the ball game. Chris gonna try and get uh, an interview for us before we uh, are done. Well, they had 44 at uh, half there, almost gonna double each quarter. Very impressive scoring for Lutheran. Black with a turnaround, kisses it off the glass and in. They just continue to be hot shooting here in the quarter. Too bad it's way too late. Yep. Lutheran just keeps making those free throws. Here we go, get one. Oops. Welsh, his uh, shot is blocked, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Austin Black picks up his second personal. Welsh on the line. Free throw is uh, good by Justin Welsh. He's officially in the books. Christian right now shooting 58% from the floor in the ball game. And they trail by 23. They're not wow. getting enough shots, Chris. That is correct. Parsons had it in the corner, gave it up to uh, Minert. Coolis had it. Somebody's got to shoot it. Come on, boys. Under a minute. Shot's 
Shot in the lane by Coolis is no good. Lutheran comes away with it. 25 seconds left. Lutheran fans up clapping for their team. Well, they'll improve to 11 and 0 conference. And that'll do it, Chris. They're gonna be conference champs with this yep. win, I believe, 14 game schedule. And the next place team had four losses. And yep. uh, that's the end of the ball game. 85-62, Lutheran with a good win. And an impressive win, to say the least. Parents sure have their hands full, and they could use an extra hand. Now, every state offers free or low-cost health insurance for your sports hero or budding artist. Kids up to age 19 can get checkups, doctor and dentist visits, hospital care, prescriptions, and more. Your child may qualify based on your family size and income. It's one less thing to worry about. Call or go online for more information. Our daughter might be drinking or taking something else. We can't talk with her about it. She keeps everything secret. But when I pretend everything is okay, I'm keeping secrets too. My therapist suggested Alan on family groups. It was helpful to hear what other parents said. Are you troubled by someone's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Alan on family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-ALANON or visit alanonfamilygroups.org. Before you're treated for breast cancer, get the facts. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. I know because I am one of them. I know because I am one of them. I know because I am one of them. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadAyUSA.org. Getting out of the military, I was missing this camaraderie. It's frustrating when you try and talk to people that don't understand. I still had the anger, I still had the uh, addictions, but we didn't talk about that. Came to a point where it's like, okay, I really need to talk to somebody about this. Family more or less encouraged me, you know, go, go to the VA. It's okay to go get help. It's okay to talk to people, because it takes true strength to ask for help. Hear veterans' real stories of strength and recovery at maketheconnection.net. going to school pregnant around the bus that was hard you just have all the stares and you have all the questions when you get pregnant all the stuff just goes through your mind abortion adoption keeping him when you're 15 and pregnant you can't do it without support I wanted to give him a better life I'm Miranda and I chose adoption a healthy diet and plenty of exercise are keys to success, both on and off the ice. Teaching kids how to eat right will give them the fuel they need to be at their very best. Growing bodies need lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy to be healthy and strong. A registered dietitian can work with your family to help you create nutritious meals you will love. And don't forget to exercise for at least 60 minutes every day. Visit kidseatright.org for more information. You show your smile to the world every day, but nearly four out of five Americans say they would smile a lot more if their teeth looked better. The good news is healthy teeth can be safely and affordably corrected at any age. Advances in orthodontics have made the treatment more successful and comfortable than ever. Only orthodontists receive two to three years of education beyond dental school to learn the proper way to align and straighten teeth. To learn more, visit mylifemysmile.org. Back at uh, Lutheran High, Chris is standing by with a couple of the winning Crusaders. Hey, we're back here at Two Lutheran. We'll start here with Jacob Durst. Congratulations, another conference championship. I talked earlier, your soccer team won, cross country team won, now basketball team won. What a, what a great season here at Lutheran High School. Yeah, great, great group of guys, great uh, athletics right now. You guys love to run, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, today it was really clicking. 
It hasn't clicked like that all year, but not in that spurt, but we really were running well today. Yeah, it just seemed like, and it doesn't matter who comes in or not, and it seemed like Christian wanted to run with you guys, but, you know, they kind of ran out of gas a little bit. You guys went a quick spurt in the second quarter, but you guys get up and down the floor, and it's got to be a blast to play. Yeah, every day in practice we run like that. We got, you know, eight, eight guys that run with us, ten guys that run with us. doesn't matter who's in there. Didn't matter again today, too. Uh, everybody's shooting threes, too. You guys hit, like, I think you had six baskets in the third quarter, five of them were threes. I mean, you had five threes in the first half. Everybody can shoot the three, too. I mean, that's got to be fun, too, shooting all those threes. Yeah, uh, we all got confidence in everybody's shots. Doesn't matter who gets it, that's going in. So You never know in these kind of Lutheran Christian games, or the rivalry's kind of neat. What has it been for you to play in these kind of rivalry games? Uh, well, last year was, you know, those were close. Those are back and forth. Those are fun. Uh, this was a fun one, too, though, running up and down. Really, really clicking tonight. Well, congratulations. Thank you can you. stay here. Right? I was mentioning you guys got a couple, couple conference championships in soccer. You got one in, uh, you got one in, uh, what else, cross country and things like that. I mean, you guys have been, won a state championship in basketball. You won conference. It must be a great thing to be with such seniors, and what a great group of guys. And, I mean, all the athletic in this, this small little school. Oh, yeah, I love it. We've been playing with these guys since middle school, and we really put the work in it in the summer. Really pays off when we come out here and play a great game like this against a rival like Christian. You know, you don't think about it much, but, you know, you play your games during the season, but a lot of the work gets done all summer. You guys travel all over and play a lot of games and things like that, and that's where the hard work goes, too. And I noticed, too, some of you guys actually look bulked up this year, too, a little bit. <laughs> that's right. Coach makes us work, but he, uh, he makes us have some fun, which is nice, and we get uh, all the guys in the gym in the summer, which is perfect, and in the fall, even though we got uh, fall sports, we're in the gym, we're working, we're lifting, and you see it's paying off for us this year. It's been great. Well, I know you've kind of been kind of one of these guys. I, I mentioned it during the game. I said, well, my gosh, you only got averaging six points a game. And my partner mentions, well, whenever those other guys are scoring, so I'm like, but you got a bunch tonight, too. You got about 20. I think you were like six or seven from the floor. But so that had to be nice in a senior rivalry game for you. That's right. It felt great out there. I mean, I like to get out there and play some defense, bring the energy, dive after some balls. But uh, it was great out there to score some, make some three throws. But it was a good feeling for sure. Another good comment you just made, you know, you guys made free throws all night. I mean, I mean, your percentage, I was just saying, I wish Wisconsin made free throws like you guys because you guys made a ton tonight, and, I mean, it didn't matter who was up there. Everybody's making them. That's right. It's been uh, well up and down this year with three throws, but it was good to come out here tonight and have a whole group of guys make three throws all night, not just one half or two three throws in a row, but the whole night we were making them, getting to the hoop, getting some good passes. We got a lot of assists tonight, which is why we got to the line a lot. One last comment. I asked Jacob the same thing. You're, you know, these rivalry games, anything can happen. It's it's your you know last home rivalry game. You got one in two weeks yet. But how's it been to play uh, Sheboygan Christian throughout these years? It's been great. Just like I imagined it, sitting up in the stands. Really fun playing against them and getting after it. Last year when we lost to them at their yeah. place, felt sweet to get a nice win here after a double overtime win here last year. Nice to get a good, uh, solid win. Well, congratulations, both you guys, conference champs. Got a couple weeks left, and we'll see you down the road in a couple weeks. With that, we're going to send it back to Marty. Again, Sheboygan Lutheran, a winner, 85-64. Uh, let's go through with some scoring. Caleb Kelly and uh, Windsor, Eddie Windsor, each had 18 points to lead uh, the, Crus the Eagles. For uh, Lutheran, they were led by uh, Phil Leipum. You just saw him there on the interview with 19 points. Tyler Zastro had 16 uh, Jacob Juris had 11, and Taylor Zastro had 10 points coming off the bench in that second half. Uh, Chris had mentioned about the free throws. I got Lutheran at 25 out of 29 free throws. Uh, Christian finished uh, 8 for 13. Not bad for them either. Uh, with the win tonight, Lutheran goes to 14 and 2, 11 and 0 in conference. Christian drops to uh, 6 and 9. 5-5 five and five in conference. Our next basketball game will be uh, Wednesday, February 5th, when Wisconsin Lutheran College uh, visits Lakeland. We look forward to uh, bringing you uh, that ball game. And for the crew, our director, Scott Mailoff, on cameras, Manuel Vasquez and Eric Wiesman. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.